There's a bull right there. Yeah, I see him walking. There's a big bull right there behind him. And another bull that just chased him out. Yeah, there's another bull. New Mexico's motto is, it grows as it goes, and in the last decade, it's grown 80,000 elk. Now, it's my shot at a branch bull with my guide, Bill Glisson, of the Timbers at Chama, on this episode of Going Country. I was super excited, and I couldn't wait to get down to the ranch to see if what I was gonna get. We are in Chama, and it is a really cute town. Oh yeah, look at that camo. Uh-huh. You know, Chama's a very small, quaint town here in northern New Mexico, but when fall comes, this town dones its camouflage and everybody opens their doors. The Timbers of Chama, you know, we kind of have a slogan, we bring southern hospitality to the Rockies. I settled on northern New Mexico and then ultimately settled on Chama because it being a, the heart of Unit 4, which is famously known for its herd and the prolific elk population. We are in a migratory path here at the southern base of the San Juan Mountains, and it enables us to start hunting migratory elk. Where we start the season hunting bugling bulls, we end the year uh, hunting extremely large herds in the hundreds. As the flakes fall, we're still playing hide and seek with the elk. What? All right, Christy. Christy, I just glassed two elk right there. One of them's a bull, at least one of them's a bull. I'm pretty sure he's a shooter. Okay. Let's get over here real quick. Let's see what we can do. Awesome. We thought we'd finally met our lucky break, so we aggressively and quickly got set up. He's broadside right now. He's cornering away a little bit. Oh, shit. He's in the middle of the herd. Find the ball. He's in the back. Oh, there's a nice ball right there. And he's broadside right now. You see him? He's in the trees. That was really, really exciting and I'm kind of frustrated because I didn't get a shot on him. We'll see what happens. We got out here, the weather was real. It was snowy and now it stopped, the sun's out. So they're moving in this weather. How many times you get to go elk hunting? And your biggest problem is there's too many elk that you can't shoot. No. Oddly enough, I think one of our biggest problems when we were in the elk, we were into very large numbers. And so, you know, the more animals, the more eyes, the more difficult. Uh, we just set up on the shooting sticks and waited a good half hour probably. Uh, the, the curiosity finally got the best of us and having the camera there enabled us to replay the footage. And we finally concluded uh, that we did not. She did not hit that bull. So it was a clear miss and no injured animal was left in the field. And so our, our luck of being close, but not close enough to close the deals continued. This is it, last day and last chance for my bull. But I can assure you this, it's not over till it's over. We're gonna hunt till the very last hour. They're working their way down a little. kind of spooked him off. They ended up going through the trees and we don't know where they are. We're gonna go to another spot I think in a little bit. You see those four elk out there? Four elk over there. Yeah, there's two bulls to the left. The one on the right. Thank you, I hit him. He went right in over there. We did it in the last light. Oh my god. My first branch bull. I am so excited. Bill. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Thank you so much. What a trooper!